give respect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He comes first. Over your mother, your father, your brothers, your sisters, your girlfriend that you got laying around somewhere. I don't care. But you'll put your differences aside because Allahu Akbar is about to begin. Salah so comes first. As a lot of youngsters, especially the ages between 14, 15 and so on and so forth and up, are falling into. And that's haram relationship. Man see a couple brothers here, mashallah, tabarakallah. Coming to this masjid, holding hands with another sister, hugging her, saying, I'll see you after the talk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive every sin of a Muslim except the ones that you do publicly and openly, bro. Now, where's the shame, bro? Nowadays, you don't give a damn. You continue. Where's the fear of Allah gone, bro? We're Muslims. Since when has Islam become secondary? Since when? And no wonder we're miserable. We're all suffering from suf something to do with isms, bro. PTSD and so on and so forth. Man, them are stressed. Man, them are depressed. Why? Because you put everything in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before Allah. You chose the girlfriend. You chose your education, your job, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's be real with ourselves, bro. Islam completes, you know, getting married completes half of your deen in Islam. If you're really going down that path or you feel like you're going to fall into what? Zina. The zina of the eyes. The zina of the hands, bro. How many of us see pornography? It's become normal amongst the Muslim community, bro. Islam is going to move forward with or without you. You don't like the rules that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put in place? You don't like what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam done for you? You don't like what the companions had to sacrifice for you? You don't, you don't want to follow them? Bro, leave Islam, bro. Islam is not a trend.